Howdy. So if you find yourself needing to print on a budget blank, not on one of the blanks that I recommend here, these are the best quality blanks, not on one of those. But if you find yourself having to print on a budget blank for whatever reason, this video, I'm gonna teach you the steps you need to do to be able to get pretty good results. Now, it's not what I recommend because it's gonna take more time, it's gonna take more money. But in a pinch, if you have to make a budget blank look good, this video is for you. Let's get started on this Digital Monday. Now, when printing on these budget blanks, it's critical that you pre-treat just right. We have to use distilled water. I'm using EcoFrame pre-treat, works really well. Epson pre-treat also works really well. Also, I have a nice clean pre-treat machine. I just cleaned my nozzle out. I did a flush last time I uh, ran my machine, so I know my machine's looking good. So the way we do this trick with pre printing well on a budget blank. On a Mr. T1, we're gonna do speed five, single pass, we get good coverage. We're gonna dry the shirt. Then we're gonna hit the shirt again once it's dry, speed five, single pass. Then we're gonna dry it again. Now the reason we wanna do this is because budget blanks are, uh, don't have a tight weave and they're cotton, they're very fibrous. And we need to make sure that we have pre-treat that will really stick to and bond to the garment so the white ink uh, will not fall through the garment. So here we are, not a lot of staining, two good layers of pre-treat. We should be able to get a pretty good result on this. Now, step two is to set your garment creator settings right. Now, normally on a default setting on a black color t-shirt, level three will look good if you use a good quality shirt and if you pre-treat properly. Um, often I use level five. That just lays down a little bit more white. It lays down a highlight white. So we get a little bit better result and it doesn't really cost much more. But in this case, we're going to need to go to level six. Now this is the most expensive and the most amount of white ink that we're going to lay down. Um, it's going to go white. It's going to print white, spit the shirt out, come back in, print white again, sprint the shirt, print, spit the shirt out, come back in and then print color. So that's using twice as much white ink as we normally would in a severe circumstance. You might print dark color t-shirt level one. This is going to print white once. It's going to come out. Then you're going to take your hair dryer, dry the shirt briefly, um, and then send it back in. Don't move the shirt or anything to keep the registration right. Then send the shirt back in, dark uh, black, uh, black color t-shirt, and then go level six. But in this example, we're just going to go level six. Okay, so we're going to do the double strike white, basically not double strike, but two pass white. Um, I'm going to bump my color up a little bit. I'm going to bump my white density up again, up a little bit. Now, normally, like I said, we don't mess with these settings that much. We typically are on level three, level five. If we use a good quality shirt and we've pre-treated properly, um, a good quality shirt will, will print great at level three or level five. I'm going to reduce the white area to four. And with this, let's send it to the printer, see what she looks like. First pass of white. So here comes our second pass. One thing I want to note is that when you do second pass, sometimes there's a little blowout of white ink and you'll get a little fuzziness. You see that there? We're not going to get that normally. Now that's not across the whole design, but that is in certain areas. So our whites are a little bit better. They're certainly not as white as they can be as if we were to print on a, on a bright colored shirt or a nice quality shirt. But we we'll may have to make this work. So here comes our color. At first glance, it looks pretty good. It's relatively crisp. The colors are pretty vibrant. Looks pretty good to me. Now, that's about as good as we're going to get on a budget blank. We're going to dry this and do a side-by-side -side comparison. All right, so let's put this thing on the heat press. Now, the trick here is we don't want to use a lot of pressure. So I'm going to set this at about 95 seconds. Again, with very little pressure, handle should just fall right down, trying to mitigate that dye migration. That's where we want it. Just barely touching the top of the garment. All right. There's our nice dry budget per shirt. Let's do a side-by-side -side comparison. So I wanted to do a test 
of a budget shirt and a high quality shirt. This high quality shirt printed on a cotton heritage, this is what I typically use. Notice how bright and tight and clean everything is. Really good lines, really bright colors. Looks really sharp. Here's our budget shirt. Notice we got a little bit of fuzz in there, not bad, but pretty tight and clean, but not as bright. It is noticeable. And some customers may want the tighter, cleaner, better results. Some customers may be fine with that because of the price. But again, it takes more time to get this than it does this. It's pretty good stuff. All right, so we saw how it's done. If we're going to use a budget blank, We've got to pre-treat twice, maybe three times, kind of hit it fast with about 50-50, use a good quality pre-treat. Then we're going to lay down twice as much ink as we normally would, level six at Garmin Creator. And then we're going to use very little pressure for a little bit longer time on the heat press. Um, you can even reduce the temperature a little bit, but uh, it, it, it looks pretty good. Um, this is about as good as I think you're going to get on a Gildan. And um, though I'm not particularly happy with this, a lot of customers might be. Not a bad print. Um, it's crisp, it's clean, it's about as bright as we're going to get. Um, personally, I'm a fan of a shirt that takes a little bit less time and less ink. This is a good quality shirt. It's a ring spun cotton. We did one, uh, we did a round trip four on, uh, on the, uh, Mr. Pre uh, Mr. T1 pre-treat machine. We did a level five on the printer and we were able to do, you could probably do two of these, maybe three in the amount of time it takes to do one of these. And they only cost about 50 cents, maybe a buck more in shirt quality to do. So you do the math, you figure it out what works for you. But in a pinch, we can get it done. That's the secret on this Digital Monday. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Watch all of our other embroidery videos. There's a ton of good stuff. Thanks for watching. We will see you next week.